Hi, I'm in my addiction. Hmm. Welcome to Bad Advice Addiction. <laughs> XBreeBree98 asks, What should I do if my boss says I'm not doing my best and he's starting to fire people? So you could be a kiss ass. You could... Sleep with your boss. You could sleep with your boss, dude! Oh, right there! Well, I mean, that wouldn't work if you were a dude. I think it's a girl, it's Brianna. Okay. Yeah, you should be okay. Sleep with your boss. Yeah, just sleep with your boss. Simple fix. Yeah. And tell everyone about it, too. All your friends. Just let them know. You're a big fat slut. Gold Glove TV asks, The internet makes a lot of jokes about the size of my penis, and it's really hurting my self-esteem. What should I do? Well, Brandon, I think that you, you should take a look, good hard look at your penis and, you know, decide, is the length and size of it really the problem? Or is it the fact that I, I cry on the internet about people making fun of the size of my penis? Yeah. I mean, are you super insecure about yourself and your penis mm -hmm. that you feel, I mean, obviously you are because you're asking this question. Yeah. So stop that. I'd say maybe get some respect for yourself mm -hmm. and live stream more to get rid of, you know, the, the constant urge to look at your penis and question its size. Yeah. You're not live streaming enough, pretty much. That, yeah, you gotta do at least like 15 hours a day. You're doing like 10 hour live streams, up that to like 20 to 40. Just get some like pet pills, you'll be fine. And you'll never think about your penis ever, ever again. Yeah. Except for... Well, when a girl wants to do stuff. <laughs> but let's be honest, that doesn't happen. That's that's never, doesn't yeah, happen. it's never going to be an option, so it doesn't matter. Alex Big Papa asks, What do you do about a girl who you like who thinks you're gay? First, you have to determine that you're not gay. You really got to look inside yourself. Um, start jerking off. Start off thinking about that girl. And then slowly segue into, like, you're making out with a dude. Yeah. And see if anything happens, if it stimulates anything. If not... Congratulations, you're not gay, and then you, now you have to go out and prove it by basically by just like fucking her. Yeah, if you're not gay, maybe you're metro. I don't know. We know some metro people. But how's the otter balls? But um, you know that's an option if you're not mm -hmm. gay. But you could do it like like you said. You don't necessarily have to think of it, dude. I mean, the internet's out there. Find a picture of a penis, print it out, get a get a hard look at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hard. <laughs> but uh, look at it and see if anything happens. If you feel anything, if you feel stuff. There's a good chance you're gay. Yeah. But, on the plus side, you've already got a fag hag. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go through this alone. You know, she'll right. be there for you. You can go shopping and stuff. Yeah, fuck yeah. Go to, like, DSW or whatever. Banana Republic? Banana Republic, I guess. Urban DS Outfitters? Just do. I mean, they like shoes a lot more, I would think. Right? Shoes. Uh, Forever 21. Forever 21. There the one go. that's really bright with glittery stuff everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do totally. That. All right, finally... The 36 kill asks, Dear Diction and Mexican, my sister thinks it's fun to look at my phone messages. What can I do to stop her? What kind of phone do you have? Like, is it like the old brick Nokia that has no yeah, locking I'm pretty, ability? I'm pretty sure even those you can figure out a way to lock them. Seven-year-olds have smartphones nowadays. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't necessarily support that, but still. Create, a, create a, a keypad number. This is actually like really good advice. We're not even fucking around here. You just, no. just lock your goddamn phone. You could get like, uh, go to like Hobby Lobby or whatever craft store you are, you're at and like and sometimes they have really cheap science kits that involve electricity. So if I can take one of those and like Jimmy rig it so like anytime she tries to grab it, just zaps her. Yeah. Like and at only least, you know how to get past the electrodes. At least 40,000 volts. Mm -hmm. that definitely she, amp up the, the voltage. Like she get would a car never, battery. Car battery under the bed or something she, so will, she can't see. Yeah, she will never ever want to touch your phone again. And then you can just deactivate it at that point and just like, mm -hmm. you know, every time you see her looking at your phone, just like hold it to her face and she'll freak out. Yeah. And then you can laugh and point at her, you know, that's yeah. the best part of being a sibling. You could also wait alternatively. I mean, if you have a gun, I'm not going to say kill her. Don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. But, you know, sneak up. She's coming up like your phone's on your bed. You come up behind her. She's reaching out for the phone. Just shoot her right in the hand. Yeah. It's a permanent, you know... Reminder that she she'll shouldn't have, do that. She'll have a scar on her hand for the rest of her life. And right. Like, wow, I should have never fucked with my brother's phone. It's a and visual for... reminder, and in the moment, it's it's a it's a pretty painful reminder. Oh yeah, no. but the message will get across. Yeah, messages. Your messages won't get across to her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been bad advice with Diction and Gassy. Uh, thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I gotta go lock my phone. Because nothing says I hate myself and I'm a horrible person 
more than doing a Harlem Shake.